In this video, I'm going to show you how I make these Paw Patrol Shield cookies. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. Here are the things that I'm going to use. A Paw Patrol cookie cutter and I believe I got that from Etsy. I will link it down below. I'm going to be using sky blue, red, lemon yellow and a little bit of black for the gray. And that'll be all. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright guys, to get started really quickly on the outlines that I have here, of course you will need your main cutter which is the large piece. Now this set comes with a lot of pieces but you won't be needing all of them. You will be needing the center of the shield, the bone, and the three letters for the paw. Each of these letters come with two pieces, a larger one and a smaller one, so you will be needing the smaller ones. Uh, it does come with these uh, little printout ones but you won't need those because uh, you will be piping those so there's no need to press the patrol or the paw print here um, One thing I do recommend is not pressing in each cutter too deep for a few reasons One you could accidentally press it in too deep and you will completely cut the piece out Another if you even put it in somewhat deep uh, when it bakes it's going to kind of bloom and it'll expand and since there's cutouts in the cookie dough it's going to kind of pull apart and then you'll have this uh, really deep um, channels um, and you, you don't want that because when you put the icing in there it's going to sink in so all you really need is an, uh, just a line to follow so I do highly recommend that so I'm gonna go ahead and move on I'm gonna uh, do my yellow for my paw and my blue for my bone um, another thing don't worry about overlapping you'll see a whole bunch of over overlapping here with the with the printouts everything is going to be iced so you won't see any of that so I'm gonna start with my yellow and I have it in a tip two in a somewhat medium consistency I would have liked it to be a little bit thicker but um this this will work and so what I'm gonna do here is just follow my lines and since mine are just a tad bit deep I'm gonna have to fill that in and I am going to give it a double pass because I want this um, border or this um, outline to be rather thick because the letters the paw letters are not flush to the shield they're kind of bulky so I want mine to be just a little bit thicker and I do the center here and then I'm going to do that to all the letters Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my blue. They have my blue here in a tip too as well. And this one I'm not going to double the line. So I'm just going to outline the bone. Here in the, the longer pieces have lines, the other ones I'm just going to go really close to the edge. And I'm going to fill in these little pieces here at the bottom, kind of like a chevron shape. Because um, since it is the same color, I can just go ahead and do that. The other pieces of the, of the other lines um, that go with the shield, I'm going to wait till that yellow dries because I don't want it to absorb any of this blue. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest and then I'll be back. Alright guys, so I gave this a total of about a couple hours to dry. So what I have here is the same icing that I did the outline here. So I'm going to do the outlines here at the top and a few here that are in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in in that uh, line, the imprint that it gives. Just fill it in. I'm going to give it another pass just to make it a little bit thicker because I am sinking in that icing which means it's going to fall in a little too deep so when I go in with my 
light gray in the center it might go over because it's not high enough so I'm just going to do it a little bit higher and then I'm going to do the one outside I'm just following the edge of the cookie And then it has two lines here. Well, it has one here and one here. Here in this part here, is, it's uh, kind of open, so the shield is not going to be complete. I'll just be able to fill in the red here, and it won't have any of that gray here on the sides. So now I'm going to move on to the bone with the white. And so I have here my white. And you tip two. And you flooding a little bit on the medium, but more flooding, not too, too thick. And just go ahead and fill in the entire bone and then smooth your icing out. Okay, that was pretty easy. So now I'm going to go with same color blue, but now it's going to be a little bit um, runnier, but it's still in a tip too. And I'm just going to pipe all three letters, just fill them in and then smooth the icing out. I'm really glad I went with that double line on these letters because um, it just kind of helps keep all this in and it makes the letters nice and bulky. so almost there now um, I'm going to give these lines here uh, about an hour to dry I need that to be really dry because I am working with a really light gray so I want to make sure that this blue doesn't get sucked in um, then I'm gonna go in here with the red as well because I'm just waiting for this line to dry so I can work with both colors after that and uh, that's pretty much it so I'm gonna give this some time to dry and I'll be back Alright, so I think uh, I gave it enough time to dry. I'm going to move on with my red and my gray. I have here my red in a tip one, in a somewhat flooding consistency. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in. I already did that one uh, part here at the bottom to move the video along. You just have to fill this little triangle in. So just go ahead and fill this in. I have to move the video along because I have so much to show you so I'm just going to kind of move it along I'm going to fill in these sections that are really really tight in here I have a bit of a tight squeeze is it okay so after you smooth everything out that's what it's gonna look like now I'm gonna go ahead and do my little paw print here and then I'm gonna do the gray there and then I'm gonna do the patrol down there and I think we'll be done okay so what I'm gonna do next is my paw really easy it's gonna have three little dots and then the little kind of like a jelly bean shape in the middle so I'm just going to start off with one here in the center, here, one here, and then one here. Just making sure that the peaks are down. Okay, so now I'm going to do my letters here at the bottom of the patrol. 
with a tip one in a somewhat thick consistency. We're going to start off in the center here. My T and my R. To center my word out. Okay, make sure you bring your peaks down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my light gray. Fill this in and then I'll be done. Okay, now for the final step, I'm gonna go with my gray and fill in the shield part. And I have this in a tip one. And just go ahead and fill in here this chevron shape at the bottom and smooth the icing out. I'm going to fill in the little circle here and that P. Now here, there's a little bit of cookie here. I'm just going to make a little line here. Even though it doesn't have the blue line there, I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in anyways. Just a little line. like that. Now I'm going to turn this around so I can finish this here. I just smooth this out as well. And that will be it for this cookie. So I'm going to finish up the rest, give this some time to dry, put them all together, and that'll be all. Guys, I decided to add like the little screws that the shield has. Um, this is just extra, it's optional, but I'm using the same I have icing that I used there, still with my tip one, and it has two little like screws at the top and one at the bottom which I already did and I'm going to sort of flatten this out just so it won't look like a bubble and then I have uh, an edible marker here in um, it's like a navy blue by Wilton and I already did some also I believe they're like little screws or something because I think this is like supposed to be made out of metal or something so it has a, a few dots or screws on each of the letters. It has like a couple down here, one up here, one up here, here, and here. Again, optional, but um, that's how it has it on the picture of the patrol shield. Alright guys, so there you have it, Paw Patrol Shield Cookies. These came out pretty neat. This is the first time I make them, so I'm happy with them. I do highly suggest though to make your red icing in a nice flooding consistency because there are a lot of little uh, small spaces that you got to squeeze that icing through. So if it's a little too thick, uh, it's going to dry a little lumpy. I would have wished my icing would have been a little bit on the runnier side. That way it would have dried a lot smoother, but I know for next time, but um, I'm happy with how it turned out. It's a fairly easy cookie to make. You just have to wait here and there for certain uh, lines to dry to move on to the next, but it doesn't require that many colors, so it's a fairly easy cookie to make. All right, guys, I will let you go. I thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't done so, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a good one.